Hello, um, I'm going to do a mini theme video of all my new um, additions plus um, pretty much all my scorpions except the June scorpion because the June scorpion is on a different um, rotor because it doesn't have a water ball because um, it's a very dry species it gets twi fed twice a week so it can get the water from its prey if needed um, all them are getting new substrate um, it's some, the El Klug has been needed to do for a while and these deep substrate Others, it's just um, simple maintenance. Um, I'm not going to do a separate video on them. I'm not going to show it because it's literally just changing the substrate, and that's it. It'll take me five minutes. So yeah, um, just thought I'd feed these on camera. Um, pretty active. Um, this in the red claw. Red claws just took a hole, so I'm never going to see it again. But um, yeah, let's see if it's hungry. Doesn't seem so. <clears throat> um, what? Well, and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> Better grab that. <sighs> the only problem we're using locust. They always jump away. So yeah. Um. Scorpions aren't very good eaters, I know that for a fact. Um, I'm going to leave this and I'm going to chug it back in with it and give it a couple of days. If it doesn't eat, it doesn't eat. I'm not going to give an update because scorpions um, they are not the best eaters. But yeah, this one's settling in pretty well and doing alright. So we'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is the thing a lot of people don't realise. Scorpions are pet holes as well as teas, except scorpions, they dig a hole about the same size as them, then put the claws at the top and don't move. So I'm going to see if it's hungry. Um, grab it out. Well, I'm going to leave it in its tank, because um, it is a quite active, this one, so hopefully it'll come back out and um, grab it. So yeah, I'm going to leave it be and um, move on to the next one. By the way, this one's settling really well, um, same as the flat rock. They're all settling pretty well, but yeah, okay, uh, back in a sec. This is the E species yellow, um, I'm just trying to stop it from falling. Um, I'm with put. I'm just gonna drop the locust in once um, she's back in, because um, I don't want to bother her. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get back in. But yeah, she's doing absolutely fine. She's really, really active. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave her be and uh, chuck the locust in. I doubt she'll eat them. You have to one of the worst eaters. Okay. Well, it's going to take me about five minutes to get back in, so, um, yeah, uh, back in a sec. Um, this is my um, Cyclostern um, and Pentalo. Um, oh, standoff between you are for Swiss Jello and Locust. <laughs> yeah, um, Cyclostern and, no, uh, yeah, Cyclostern and Pentalo. Um, I know this one's going to eat because it's absolutely vicious and it kept going for the pet when I was dropping water in so let's see this is bigger than I usually give it but um, I know it's going to go for it so yeah one two three mm. Mm. yep see what I mean Cycle sternums are absolutely vicious. Um, I don't know what slings are like because I've never kept them, but my adult female um, cycle sternum fasciatum is. Um, it doesn't always eat on camera, but it always eats. So this one seems like it's going to be one that's going to eat on camera. And the lid fell shut. Um, I'm just going to leave it be anyway. So yeah, um, back in a sec. Um, this is the male C Pentalo. Um, as you can see, he's webbed up as well. So they're both webbed up a lot. Um, I'm just going to drop this in. He should be hungry, to be fair. It's a bit bigger than I usually have him, but um, I've got no 
like a decent sized medium so he's going to get this ok let's see if he's hungry I don't think he's hungry to be fair. Nah, he's not hungry. I'm going to take this one out um, because I know for a fact he's not going to eat the Uafa species shell. I'll probably take that out tomorrow. Um, just I know this guy is not going to eat and it'll just stress him out. So I don't want to stress him out, especially after I only got him the other day. So yeah, um, we'll leave him be and I'll move on to the next one. Uh, back in a sec. So this is the uh, Polisa Palma species Bolivia. Um, it should be hungry to be fair. Let's have a look. I'm going to leave it in with it, um, crush it and leave it in. Very beautiful species and I think I got one of the last one they had, to be fair, so epic win. Okay, um, I'll leave this little one be and um, just next it's just going to be the scorpions that I already had to um, Petrometrius pizza. I'm not going to feed them on camera, I'm just literally going to show you them because um, they never eat on camera at all. They barely eat at the moment anyway, so yeah. Okay, uh, back in a sec. So there's the male, no pet hole, and the female is in. There. So yeah, um, that was just an update and a feeding kind of only one eight I suppose of the new species I've got. They've all settled in really well, no problems. Um, and these, this is just an update on my two forest scorpions. They're doing perfectly fine, but. Most scorpions are pet holes, as um, the red claws turned out to be. Don't bother me, but um, just a warning for people who are getting them, they are pretty much pet holes. As you can see down there. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm not going to show you me doing them again, I'm just uh, going to do it because it's literally just changing substrate. Um, I might get a video with the cave runny peeps just because it's so rare and I'll never see it out. Um, or um, maybe I, I might video the cave bunny peeps and um, the H inset and the uh, H um, sanguineceps because you just never see them um, and I have to take them out fully so you'll be able to see them really well so yeah um, I might do that might not I'm just gonna spray these and then get on to doing that so yeah um, so a bit people um, bye So if you watched the clip before, and me heavy breathing and being quiet, um, the Uafa species yellow actually ate quite late at night, but I was actually shocked, because um, some people said they're the bad eaters, some people said they're good eaters, so yeah. Right, um, P species Bolivia, with that is I crushed it, and it's, it like dug all the way up, so it basically kicked loads of dirt all around, so I don't know if it buried it or ate it, so I had to redo its substrate, because I didn't want it to like leave it a month it get really like settled in and then I'm having to change substrate because it's got moldy so I didn't chance it and I just redid substrate because um, I looked at it eventually as well and it's looking I'm not too sure I want to say female but I always want to say female <laughs> everyone wants to say female <laughs> um, psychosternum um, pentalo eight of course because you saw it um, red claw didn't eat and the halogens, um, pal uh, palcidans didn't eat either. Um, it's actually quite a calm species. These are one of the scorpions I'd actually advise people to handle if they wanted to. Um, individuals do vary, but um, even if these do sting you, 
um, all it feels like, because uh, most of the time, it's what uh, it's either a lot of people report it differently. Some people just say the dry sting. Some people just say the venom's that weak. You just don't notice it. So um, yeah. So if you wanted to handle a scorpion, I would advise these. Chocolate, um, Hadogen's chocolate dye are the huge ones. They're like another five centimeters on top of these, and the world's heaviest scorpion. Um, if you do want to handle them, I do it very low to the ground because obviously they're quite big. Um, so yeah, um, just random advice. But yeah, that didn't eat the red claw. Didn't eat. Don't know about the pea species Bolivia. The male Psychostern pentala obviously didn't eat because I just took it out because I didn't want to stress it out. Um, I've just left that ink cupboard because there's no point in me updating that. Um, new species yellow was the shock of that. Um, really calm species. Um, wanders a lot. So I actually really like this one. And yeah, Hadogen's chocolate diet looking awesome. Really awesome scorpion. Always seems to want to be out. It very rarely goes in the hide. Just seems to lay on the top of the bark or near its water wall or something. Just lay flat out. So yeah, um, I'll leave it be and that'll be it. So just a random little feeding video. Medium, mini feeding video. I can't even remember now. I've done that many feeding videos now so I'll lose track. So yeah, anyway, see you people. Bye.